New at six, some alarming news for homeowners across the state of Florida. Thousands of insurance policies are being canceled, and that means Florida's insurer of last resort could be seeing a whole lot of new business. CBS 4's Hank Texer explains what's behind the wave of cancellations. Hurricane Andrew devastated insurance companies in the state of Florida. National insurance companies pulled out, smaller companies failed, and all these years later, Florida home insurance companies are still facing tough times, recovering from Hurricanes Irma and Michael. Massive losses, inflated damage claims, and lengthy lawsuits the cause, rate increases and policy cancellations now happening. What we're seeing is that, you know, those companies the ones that have most of their risk in Florida are the ones that we're seeing having the most difficulty. Permission to cancel policies granted to Gulfstream Property and Casualty from Sarasota, 20,000 plus policies. Universal Insurance Company of North America, also from Sarasota, 13,000 policies. And Southern Fidelity Insurance Company, Tallahassee, nearly 20,000 policies. You can raise rates or you can try to reduce your exposure. You know, this is all a, a, a process by private carriers to kind of shore up their business so that they can protect the customers that remain covered by them. And how about those rate increases? FIU professors serve as the lead agency for the Florida Public Hurricane Loss Model. Updated yearly, it's the benchmark for regulators and insurance companies when it comes to setting rates. The Florida Public Hurricane Loss Model basically estimates hurricane risk and it estimates the losses that uh, insurance com companies are going to incur from the portfolio of exposure they have, policies they have. Which helps set those premiums, but it's not necessarily the potential hurricane damage that's totally responsible for rate hikes. Yes, Irma and Michael did a lot of damage, but what else is driving rate increases? I think that uh, private carriers didn't anticipate the level of, of litigation that was coming out of those particular storms. Um, that uh, that sort of took everyone by surprise. Um, I think that there's been some issues with abuse of, of, of claims handling, uh, water claims especially, um, and all of these have sort of come together to create this, I hate to use this phrase, but a perfect storm. I think the big raise uh, in premiums, that rise in premiums that you're, you're experiencing is not just a question of hurricane risk. I think you have uh, uh, assignment of benefit problems and some other problems that uh, are plaguing the insurance industry. So what to do if you get that dreaded cancellation notice? Citizens Insurance is known as the company of last resort. The suggestion that we give everyone is, is to, to contact your agent, contact your insurance agent. Um, they're the ones who can either put you in, con you know, work up a policy through us. You know, unlike um, you know, some of the commercials for, say, Progressive or Geico, you know, Citizens does not sell insurance directly to policyholders. Estimates are that there will be 50,000 or more insurance policies canceled in the state of Florida. If you want more information, check our website, cbsmiami.com. Hank Tester, CBS4 News.